everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. And here, another great day here in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room. Once again, could have done everything today. Could have done everything today. Could have done everything yesterday. I focused on the peer today. I really, really like this. I 100% conviction. And I'm done. I'm all out of this now. It doesn't really make any sense to be in this now. It's 2.06 in the afternoon. I want to go to the gym and relax and enjoy the rest of my afternoon. Two days in a row, though, I did trade uh, into the lunchtime afternoon period past lunch, which is unusual for me, but I did ads in the trades yesterday and today. They moved nicely into bigger targets, so it was worth it. It's not something that I'm going to start doing every day, and I'll tell you, I'm definitely not trading tomorrow afternoon. Why? It's Friday, and Friday is the least of the days to ever hold something into the afternoon, but it was worth it today. It was worth it yesterday. So uh, two days here, I did it, and if you're ever going to trade and hold something down a bigger target, I would say... You know, you can do it on extremely highly rated gaps or very well qualified gaps or gaps that still have good target and risk reward left in them, ones that have ads in the trades and in in the fall, in the fall. I mean, you really wouldn't be ever trading the afternoon, really, in the summer. Let's take a look at the pier here today. Final exit on this for me was 12.55. Five pennies on the low of the day or uh, five pennies from the low of the day, which was 12.50, which is which is as good of an exit as you can be. If this continues down and goes to $12 this afternoon, the next two hours, I, I'm not going to be in it. So, <laughs> I mean, if this if this falls off a planet between now and 3:59, I'm not getting it. So this is the end of the story here for me for this today. And uh, and a nice day it was. And again, it was, a lot of it had to do with the ads. So first trade out of the gate was this plop drop into itself in here. Uh, this actually hit a number, okay, which was 13, so you had to be aware of that at the time, or take a little bit out, or you could take a little bit out in here, stock rally back, had a nod in here, again, dropped, 1270 wasn't a number, so I felt that it would break it, it took a while though, it took a long, 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 long while for it to break that number, but I did have a high level of conviction that it would. Stock rallied up, held, did two ads, one on the one minute on the five, and also here again in the 15 minute to take more, and I did do them both. Finally, then the stock was able to be lowered in the afternoon, came all the way down in here into the 12.50. I really think this is done today, though. But, you know, I guess it could, it could flip around one more time. But if it breaks 12.50, I'm not going to get any more of this. So then here it came down into the later period. Waited, 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 base, 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 looked great. Again, you don't just kill a something when it does one green bar that doesn't do anything wrong. Or we tested 13 here onto this uh, green bar and then immediately sold off. Retested and immediately sold off. Basically, we're setting up like a breakdown play and then here it goes. Breaking down, down, down. S similar thing here again. Did a similar thing here again, hit 1295 and then broke off and fell into itself. And I couldn't have blamed you actually for getting out of this whole thing in here, except for this isn't really any specific time of the day to be noticing anything exactly. And you still have to be very nicely here if you did the entries that I did. But then, of course, you're watching this, watching this, watching this. you got to get out of this at some point here soon because of the time of the day. And uh, when I'm in trades in the morning, I'm very closely watching the time of the day. And, you know, even more so in the afternoon because things can move against you quickly if the market makes some kind of move in the afternoon, uh, either in your direction or against your direction, and you really have to pay a big attention to things. Uh, so I was waiting, 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 trying to give it a chance for trying to give it a chance, and then I took it over here. Because this could have rallied up here and then broke down again, but then that was the end of the story. And you really could have put the stop over here, but I felt it was too far away. And I didn't really want to lower the stop at all, actually, after I did the last ad I did. So nice trade here in the pier. I wouldn't do anything with this tomorrow. Uh, I would just let this be. Yeah, this is definitely done for the day here now. Now I'm seeing this. This is rallying into 215. So I had a great exit on this. And I was watching it very, very carefully. It broke the number of 1260. was watching it. Couldn't break twelve fifty. Could this have gone to twelve dollars today? Yes. Did it? No. But this still had an enormous move for the stock on the day. An incredible move for the stock on the day. Uh, I think it was at least a buck an extension. Yes. Yes, it was. And uh, and it got the best entry possibly could have in this in every single placement here. Beautiful golden gap in pier. Stocks was show play of the day. Again, you could have done everything that was in the top watch list today. Or yesterday, it has been a very strong and solid week. I will be looking for something extremely quality 
I'm talking about high quality tomorrow on a Friday to close out the week, or I may just take a break and not do anything. If I don't get something amazing tomorrow, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I'll tell you that right now. But there is some things out tonight. There is some watches out tonight, and we'll see exactly what they do. But this pier was a nice gap today. I knew I wasn't going to do anything else, and it worked, and I even felt the conviction to do the ads in it too, which really, again, makes a difference. Uh, this is an advanced concept to take more of a position because you never know. If it doesn't continue and go down to a lower target and continue to a bigger number, then you do an ad in a place where you may be uh, basically taking more of the position, which could increase your risk or uh, lower your price. The ads today in this were very, very close. Uh, to where the original price was. So I felt good about doing them. And uh, and the afternoon ad allowed you to lower the stop as well. So great trade in the pier here today. This is the Stock Swish Show play of the day. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If anyone is interested in information about signing up for the upcoming Golden Gap class, it is September 27th and 28th. And again, if you'd like more information or want to sign up, you can email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a fantastic day. Uh, email me if you have any questions. Looking forward to a nice day tomorrow. We can if we can close out the week. If not, I'm thrilled with the week that we've had. Thrilled with the month that we've had here. It's nowhere near over, and a great great start to fall trading season here for everyone in the Stock Swish Show live trading room. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.